Hey fam, this is your word of the day. It's radical, it's powerful, it's motivational. I want to talk about something. I was on a very powerful call this morning with uh, Lisa Nichols and Sean Smith. If you don't know any of them, you need to check them out. Lisa Nichols, you hear Steve Harvey talk about her a lot on uh, the show with him every now and then when they're doing the different uh, motivational speaking uh, events and all of these things. Uh, You know, just being uh, better than who you are and being in a greater place than where you are and just embracing where you are really you know what i'm saying sean smith a very powerful motivational speaker and life coach let me tell you the call was powerful on this morning and let me tell you something i discovered this right here i discovered something and it was brought to my attention and with many and thousands of the people on this call that it's okay to quit yeah, some of you just raise your eyebrow like The Rock on WWE Wrestling. Like, what are you talking about? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you before you check out and put the finger up like you had church tipping out. Let me tell you this. It's okay to quit eating bad to start eating healthy. Yeah, check it out. You boy, you boy on something right now. I want to help us. It's okay to stop sitting on your couch and not exercising, then complaining about your weight. Mm. It's okay to remove yourself from toxic uh, friendships, relationships, and environments that cause you not to be the best person or you allow those things to cause you to start doubting who you are. It's okay to remove yourself from toxic things that doesn't propel you and catapult you into being the best person that God has intended and created and predestined you to be. Whoa, let me tell you something. See, you know that's to get excited when I hear good things, and I just want to share it with you. Let me tell you what else I discovered. It's okay to quit procrastinating on those dreams and visions that God has placed in you. And these things, some of them haven't just popped up. They've been a part of our life ever since we've been growing up. But sometimes the background noise of negative people and negative experiences in our life causes us to kind of shut those dreams out and feel like everything is over with. Let me tell you something. It's not over with. As long as you're six feet above the dirt on this side, baby, oh, you got it. You, can, you got room to do something. Let me tell you something. It's okay to stop playing small so others can feel big Ooh. and the truth of the matter is most giants are standing in holes that other people have dug so they look like midgets oh my god yeah you're much bigger than what you are you're much bigger than what you perceive because sometimes we've been placed in holes in our life through family members through situation through bad experience and let me tell you the truth a lot of it bad choices on our part And we have kicked ourselves to the point that we haven't found the courage or the strength enough to change. And a lot of times it's a matter of having the right information. Well, let me tell you something. There's no better place to get the right information than the Bible. But then God also has people out across this land that are dropping nuggets of wisdom for you to be able to uh, grab a hold to so your life can change. Come on now. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Whoa, fear is not from God. So what are you afraid of? It's okay to quit being afraid and be courageous. Hey, I ain't going to draw this out long. I just want to give you something to marinate on. So in your day-to-day process and your day-to-day goings, think about some things that you need to quit. Let me tell you, give yourself permission to be okay with quitting some things. Let me tell you something. Because the moment you quit it, you're going to find God just exalting you. He's just going to give you wings that you fly like an eagle. Dreams and creativity is just going to come into your heart and mind like never before when you remove some toxic things that have caused you to stop. Oh, but I dare you to get past being stopped and move forward in those things that God has placed in your heart. Hey, it's okay to quit. Marinate on it. Think about it. Do it. Change it. And watch God grow you. Peace. One love, fam.